so in this session we are going to learn about swagger so what is swagger api framework and how does it works and what is the purpose of using swagger how uh, easier it is used uh, for the developers and testers uh, everyone okay so for this purpose we are going to i mean what is the purpose all we are going to see now uh, just see uh, what is swagger swagger is a open source framework and which is used for designing documenting and testing the apis if you wanted to test uh, uh, any apis then uh, swagger framework we are going to use you can get it out like we have a postman as well yes we have a postman swagger also do the same but here the user interface is very simple and user understandable uh, like um, it provides a user friendly interface for the developers to interact with the apis uh, so that uh, we can uh, easily understand and uh, uh, we can use it wherever we want but in postman uh, we need to enter a few things manually but here everything is clear so all this we are going to um, see how it is a uh, user friendly interface that all we are going to see for that purpose i am going to uh, show you first of all swagger uh, just you see uh, you just type in uh, google like swagger oh one second so here you type a swagger uh, you see here the swagger api documentation and design tool for teams just swagger.io click on that so that it will open the interface uh, website i mean uh, uh, swagger.io so here you see why swagger swagger i explained you right which is used for uh, designing the apis and developing the apis documenting the apis testing the apis there are a lot of things to monitor everything uh, uh, related to specific to api every operation we can perform using swagger so uh, and tools also available here we have is open source tools which is for uh, for normal projects we can use swagger code gen to generate the code i mean it generates the server stubs and client sdks from open api specification definitions and swagger editor is also there which is used for designing apis with the open api specification and swagger ui also there which is uh, used for visualize open api specification definition in interact ui so here pro things also there uh, if you are developing any project which is related to large erp project then we go for pro things otherwise it is a general for normal projects we can use a open source tools okay so and here resources also available which is the documents uh, how to define the apis uh, in the swagger how to test it everything they have given the open api in this open api specification document so here you see here uh, mainly if you wanted to use swagger you first need to define the open uh, sorry api in the format called open api specification you see here i shown you right open api specification so you need to first dev, um, write your api in this uh, specification like open api specification was donated to the linux foundation under the open api initiative in 2015 this specification creates a restful interface for easily developing and consuming an api by effectively mapping all the resources and operations associated with so with it so mainly the this uh, um, open api specification plays a key role in the swagger tool okay so um, this specification defines the endpoints parameters request and response formats and uh, other details of the open api once you have the open api specification for your api then you can use swagger tools to generate documentation and client libraries and server stubs etc so swagger ui is popular tool that can generate user friendly api documentation website based on the open api specification swagger code gen this all i have already explained like um, these tools uh, code gen editor ui everything okay so we will see the real time example as well uh, let's see first of all what is api design here so here uh, 
so here uh, this api design if you click here and then uh, just uh, we go for uh, design apis in the swagger hub we just see here request a demo if you want you can request a demo or uh, otherwise uh, let me open the example okay for uh, swagger uh, editor let me try here try swagger editor you see here we have a uh, swagger pet store api they given and another example also they gave like um, uh, one second uh, kafka thing also see it how does it looks like the swagger editor and uh, the example this is another example which is street lights kafka api okay so first i'll explain you this about this uh, uh, pet store api so how does it looks like uh, now see if you wanted to let me open this hmm. this is code okay if you wanted to open it in a github also they gave url uh, and if you wanted to see this is the github which means the code for swagger pet store sample example okay now i am going to open this pet store uh, swagger io how the swagger ui looks like we will see now see this is the swagger pet store uh, which is an example okay for uh, by using swagger how the api uh, looks like the ui okay this is open api which they have given a, a sample example uh, here you see um, if you want to authorize they'll give you the code as well here uh, and then if you not you see here we have a server list api version 3 server right now we, they provided uh, you see here pet related everything about your pets so what are all the methods they were calling put method which used to update an existing pet and uh, uh, add a new pet to the store see you just click on this arrow you see how we are going to add a pet store um, pet to the store so here we have a parameters we don't have any parameters in the body if you see uh, you can request in a application json format or xml or in, in encoded format any they have provided three um, formats usually we use three these three formats only you see here how the schema looks like mm, id name category they given and photo url tags status everything and the response also you see successful operation it is how does it looks like in the xml they gave uh, here you want you can change it to json as well okay if you want otherwise you can change it to xml any format you can uh, uh, select it here okay so this is the example if you wanted to add any pet or you wanted to update anything also you can do it and uh, check it here see these are all the methods uh, i mean operations which is related to user like post get uh, put delete these things if you wanted to delete the user what are the parameters you have to define you just need to try it out if you just click on then give username and execute it so that it will show you the uh, output of that particular user how does i mean and then if you wanted to update a user so what are the parameters we need to define and uh, what is the pra, uh, i mean uh, steps we have to do all it will show you here okay so here uh, store inventory returns pet inventory by status it is like available or not available or sold out a, a what is the status this all we are going to see here okay so this is the ui of uh, the swagger api uh, and then uh, you see the swagger editor if you see how they written code this all we have see we can see here okay so here you can uh, import an url or file if you wanted to load an any example this is street lights example you just see pet store we have seen right so they have written code in this format like 
uh, how the, the this UI has been developed, right? What are the schemas has been developed, and how does the uh, operations has to perform? What are the request and the response variables? These are all things how they have defined. These are all we have. See the format also JSON, XML, and what are the data types for that particular variables? What they have given. So all the things in the code, how they have written also, they have given the example. If you want, you can um, develop your own API the similar way and uh, upload it in Swagger. Okay, so that we will see later. Okay, so I hope this is the basic understanding of Swagger uh, API framework. So if you like this video, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.